Topic 4.2, order of operations. So you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Today what we're going to learn is um, when to use these operations when they're in an equation, what order to solve them in. Let's say you were baking a pie, a blueberry pie, and you decided that you were not going to follow the directions exactly. You were going to put the blueberries in after the baking of the pie. Uh, you wouldn't get the same outcome now, would you? Same thing with order of operations. When you're solving a math problem, there's got to be a certain way, a certain order that you do the addition, sub subtraction, multiplication, and division. So everybody gets the same answer in the end. Let's take this expression right here. 6 times 7 plus 12 divided by 3. All right, what if we solve this going from left to right? Uh, we would have, going this way, we would have 6 times 7, 42. 42 plus 12, that would get us, what, 54? And 54 divided by 3, that gets us, ooh, 18. We would get 18 that way. What if we, ooh, what if we went ahead and started off with adding 7 plus the 12, that gets us 19, 19, 19 times a 6, da, 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 that gets us 114, 114, and then 114 divided by 3, ooh, that comes out to 38. So there's several different ways, different answers that you get with this equation here. So mathematicians had to come up with what's called an order of operations in order to do an order a specific order to do the addition, the subtraction, multiplication, the division, and all kinds of other sub symbols and exponents and all that. So always you'll get the same answer. Let's write that expression again and solve it using the order of operations. Plus twelve divided by three. All right, so the order of operations says that we do parentheses first. Always start with parentheses. Then, if you have anything that has an exponent, you would solve that. Then you have multiplication and division, doing those in order from left to right, and then addition and subtraction. So, order of operations, parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication and division, going from left to right, and then any addition and subtraction at the end, again, solving all the addition problems at the left or subtraction problems at the left and working all the way to the right. Then you will end up with the same answer that everybody else does in the entire world following this order of operations. So, looking at this equation here, 6 times 7 plus 12 divided by 3. First thing we need, ooh, no parentheses. Any exponents? No. So now we have, multi we have a multiplication problem here and a division problem over here. We're going to solve the multiplication first because it is over here on the left. So do that one first. So 6 times 7, that's going to get us 42. So now our equation is 42 plus 12 divided by 3. What's the next step we're going to do? That's right. We are going to divide by the 3 right here. So we will have 12 divided by 3. That's going to get us 4. Then we go ahead and take that 42 plus the 4. And that is going to get us a final answer following the order of operations of 46. Very important that you follow this order. Guaranteed to get the correct answer. Always take care of your parentheses first. Then any exponents, any floating numbers, solve those. And then this gets kids confused. When you have the multiplication and division, always start with the multiplication and division, the problem that is over on the far left first, and then work your way in. For example, right here we had to solve this multiplication problem first before we did this division problem. Then you clean it all up with the addition and subtraction, same thing, from left to right. In class, we're going to refer to order of operations as operation PEMDAS, parentheses, multi exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's go ahead and do some of these examples here. Let's try uh, 3 cubed minus 8 times 3. 
So any parentheses? No. Any exponents? Yes. We have 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 cubed. So that's going to get us 27 minus 8 times 3. All right, following order of operations, any multiplication, division? Yes, we get 8 times 3 right here. So we're going to take 8 times 3 is 24. 27 minus the 24, 3. All right, moving quick. Let's erase that. And try this. Ooh, let me try to trick you on this. Let's go 5 squared plus 7, but we're going to put that in parentheses divided by 4. All right, do we have parentheses? Yes. All right, so inside the parentheses, we have to solve it still following the order of operations. So inside the parentheses, this right here, we have 5 squared plus 7. What are we going to solve first? 5 squared. So that's 25 plus 7 is going to get us 32. So we have 32 divided by 4. No more exponents. They were dealt with inside the parentheses. So we have multiplication and division now. So solve 32 divided by 4. That's going to get us an 8. Pretty simple, huh? How about another one? Let's erase. Here we go. Well, let's try this one. How about 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 divided by 36. All right. Do we have parentheses? You betcha. 3 times 3, 9. Times 2 times 2, 4. All right, so we've taken care of the parentheses. Any exponents? No, so we have the rest of the problem. 9 times 4 divided by 36. All right, multiplication and division. Look, we've got a multiplication problem and a division problem. Which one do we do first? Well, we always start from left to right. So we have 9 times 4, which gets us 36, divided by the 36 is going to equal 1. Everyone in the world following order of operations is going to get these exact same answers. Let's try a couple together. Uh, how about 5 plus 4 squared times 3? Uh, some teachers may want you to write down, I think it's a good idea too, if you would just write down the order of operations, PEMDAS, code word PEMDAS. Okay. Uh, you may also have heard some people say, if you do a saying that goes with it, like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that will help you come up with the code word PEMDAS. But let's just go ahead and use that and see if we can solve this together. Uh, any parentheses? No. Exponents? Yes. So we're going to do 5 plus, what's 4 times 4? Four? 4 squared, 16 times 3. So we've taken care of our exponent there. So now, following the order of operations, do we do the 5 plus the 16? No, we got to do the multiplication and division. Here we have a multiplication. So 16 times 3 is 16 times 3. And get you 48. So we have 5 plus the 48. And 5 plus 48, using addition and subtraction, the last steps in PEMDAS, we would get a 53 as a final answer. Pretty cool. Everyone in the world gets that same answer. Let's try another. How about 8 times 9 minus 2 minus a 3? All right, parentheses, yes. So let's solve what's inside those parentheses first. 9 minus 2 gets us 7. So we have 8 times 7 minus 3. 8 times 7 is 56. So we got 56 minus 3. And then 56 minus 3 gets us a final answer of 53. Did you follow that? All right, then let's do this one. Bam. 
behind us. See how I'm writing this on my side of the paper over here? I want you to be doing the same thing on your paper. Helps out. Let's try five plus four. Addition problem. Is that going to be done last? Oh no, because we know it at because it's inside parentheses. Well, let's get rid of that X. I want an X. We want that. that times three, times three. All right, five plus four times three times three. Solving what is in parentheses first, that's a nine. So nine times three times three. Uh, no exponents, so multiplication. Do this one first, nine times three. That's gonna get us 27 times three. That will get us a final answer of 81. I have an interesting problem for you right here. Let's try this one. I'm just gonna set it up, PEMDAS. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to give you the problem, but you have to figure out where to put a pair of parentheses. Oops. Where are you going to put a pair of parentheses so the problem actually would come out correct? So I have 5 times 6 times 8 minus 7 equals 30. So you're going to put a pair of parentheses somewhere around one of those sets there where the final answer when you're following the order of operations is going to equal 30. So go ahead and pause, pause this video, and then press play when you know you have the answer. All right, you're back. Did you put the parentheses around the 5 times the 6? No. How about 6 times 8? That won't be it. If you put the parentheses around the 8 minus the 7, you should have figured this out already. 8 minus 7, you got to solve that first. It's parentheses. That is going to get you a 1. So then you have 5 times 6 times 1 equals 30. And here you have just straight multiplication going across here. So 5 times 6 equals 30 times 1 equals 30. Well, 30 times 1, that equals 30. So you're good to go. All right, so I've got a couple of problems I want you to try to solve over here. Take your time. Make sure they're correct before you submit. And also, we've got a Brain Pop movie on uh, order of operations that you're going to watch. And just see what happens to Moby's blueberry pie when he does not follow the order of steps in his recipe. I'll see you in the morning.